So these uh, tips are designed based on questions that we've gathered over the years or from our tech line or from talking directly with customers. So this year's first tip is the sketch tear off command. The sketch, uh, sketch tear off command in ordered allows you to transfer or copy ordered sketches from one plane to another. Now, some people say, well, I can use the include command to do that. Well, the nice thing about the sketch tear off command is you don't have to define the plane to, and then create the include geometry. You still have to define a plane, but you don't have to define it for the include geometry. It replicates sketches quickly and is very useful in sweep or lofted protrusions. It creates new sketches which are parallel or perpendicular, a long curve or angular associative, and it can be copied or moved. So let's have a quick look at this. To illustrate the sketch tear off command, I'm in the ordered paradigm. I've created several planes here and I have an existing sketch. The command is located here, we'll launch it. Notice the options, we have copy elements associative, copy elements non-associative or move elements. Let's do a non-associative copy. We select the plane that we wish to copy to and then we select the sketch that we want to tear off and place on the new plane and we accept it and hit finish. Now this is an independent sketch. If I change this sketch, this will not change. It'll stay as it is, or I can actually go in and edit that sketch independently. For example, I can go in, let's change the dimensions here. And we can even go in and add some constraints. So you can see it is an independent non-associative sketch. Let's run this command again. Again, you select the plane that you want to copy to and you select the sketch that you want to copy or tear off. We'll hit finish. Let's run it one more time. Now you'll notice every time I launch this, it goes back to the default setting of associative. So this was copied. This is currently associative to this. Let's do this here and do it again with a larger sketch and hit finish. So this is associative to that. To prove that, let's go and edit this sketch, our original sketch. We'll just change the dimension this time. And you can see that it changed back here as well. Why would I want to do something like this? Uh, if you wanted, for example, a smooth flowing feature, let's go in, create a loft feature and hit finish. And there's an example of creating this feature using the tear off sketch. Let's go back to our presentation. Now, if you're watching the camera that I'm on, you think I'm quite the ventriloquist there because I'm not moving my lips at all when I'm showing you that. That's because I pre recorded these videos to make sure they fit within the time frame that I'm allotted. We will be putting this up on our blogs eventually, so you don't have to necessarily capture them. And there's all the previous tech tips are up there on the blogs from the previous uh, years as well. The next one is the tip number two is the 3D sketch include command. A couple of releases ago, they added the 3D sketching. Uh, recently, they added the 3D include command. And this can be used to capture edges off of 3D geometry, just like you would do with the 2D include command or the 2D project sketch command. The include elements are associative to, to the parent elements and maintain their 3D position. So let's have a look at this. 
In this example, I have some foreign data that I've imported into Solid Edge. And what I want to do is I want to be able to capture this sketch here, create a sketch along the edges. You'll notice, however, it's it's curved here. It's a 3D sketch. So the project to sketch will give me a projection up to a plane. But if I want to capture this actual sketch to do some surfacing, we can go into our 3D sketching and use the 3D include command, which is located right here. So I select this just like I do with the project to sketch command, and I start going around selecting the sketches. Now you do have to be careful here because there's no chain at this time, so you have to make sure you get even the little pieces in between there. So we'll just go around and we'll select the sketch, making sure we get even the smallest sections there. And don't be afraid to use your quick pick if you need to. There's the small section using the quick pick. And then I can cancel and I can hide the design body and there's my 3D sketch that I've managed to capture using the 3D include command from our 3D sketching environment. Let's go back to our presentation. Tip number three, insert image into sketch. The image command enables you to grab a JPEG, TIFF, or bitmap, and bring it into Solid Edge. This has been embedded into our decal command. Now, we've been able to do decals in the previous version, but it was a multi-step process. So this, is, um, this has actually been embedded into that new process. But if you, you see me use images when I did the subdivision modeling, so I thought it be a good idea to remind people how this works. In ordered modeling, you have to be in the sketch environment to do this. So let's have a look at this. Now I'm showing you this insert image command because you've already seen me use images with our new subdivision modeling, and you've also seen it in the decal. So let's open up a brand new part. This command is actually built into the decal command. So if you're using software that's older than 2021, this is how you would create a decal. So in the synchronous, if you go to your sketching, you'll notice we have insert image here and you just have to browse to the image. I'll do some shameless advertising here and you can say, okay, I'm going to lock to this plane and get a front view. And then wherever I click, it'll place the image there. Now you'll notice I can adjust the width, the height. I can lock the aspect ratio. I can flip it or rotate it. So you do have options up here. Let's undo this. And let's go back to our empty file here and we'll switch to ordered. Now, in the ordered paradigm, you have to select the sketch plane first. And this takes you into the sketch environment. In your sketch environment, you select tools. And there's the insert image. And again, you browse for the image. You'll notice that different types of images are shown here. I'm just using a bitmap. Say open. And again, I can go in and place this with the aspect uh, ratio locked here. Let's change this, say, to 75. You'll notice it adjusts. I can go in and even align this. So I want to put the midpoint here and line it there. And the same here. And you can control your image in that sense. So as you've already seen, this is how I brought the images in for the subdivision modeling and also for the decal. This command is built into the decal command.